And Mr. Kogan, in your testimony, you said that our current rising debt ratio is due entirely to both Bush and Trump tax cuts, not spending increases. Can you honestly sit here and justify the current spending levels that we have seen over the last few years? Um, thank you for the question, Congresswoman. Uh, yes, I can. I think you know, the important thing for us to figure out as a society is what we want our government to look like, and then we should figure out how well, to make sure we know what our we government have. looks like. I'm asking you not what the government looks like. I'm asking you, can you sit here and look me in the eye and justify the spending levels that we have seen since the Biden administration took over when you are complaining that it's all the Bush and tax cuts Bush and Trump tax cuts that caused it, even though we have seen record amounts of, of, of increased revenue as a direct result of things like the TCJA. Uh, thank you for the question. Uh, so I, I'd make three points on this. The first is that we had the strongest recovery in the world uh, among G7 countries. Uh, that is a really, really important thing. I'm glad that we uh, we are serious so about the COVID response. glad that we are at $33.8 trillion debt. I'm glad so that we did thing. not have an economic calamity. I'm glad that we responded correctly. But do you not think that it's a short term and that we will potentially have that when you're looking at $33.8 trillion in debt? Um, the stock of debt is different from the long-term trajectory. So what the, what, the, what the recession spending did was we pushed up the stock of debt, but that has little effect on the long-term trajectory of our debt ratio. We are, we are going to be at a, a point level. where the second largest federal government outline is going to be servicing that debt. That's long-term. Right, but the the long ter the long term debt ratio is driven by the flows I in the future you. rather than.